Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. So here we go. We welcome Shemrock and listen, usually he makes the walk to some pretty chilled reggae music. But he said, tonight I need to be different. Tonight I need to come in with a different mindset, a different attitude. And he is looking to put on a show. He's wearing those Team Ireland colours. He represented or coached Team Ireland in the England versus Ireland Octagon Challenge series that we finished filming just last month. He won't be happy with that Union Jack, I will tell you that now. But this guy is a finisher. Eight wins, eight finishes, six submissions, and two by knockout. But Luke, he needs a win in the Octagon cage. He needs to, you know, all the hype that's behind him, he needs to make sure people know why it's behind him. That last fight, he showed the guts, the glory, the, the pain he's willing to go through when he survived. That deep triangle by Lima in the first round to come through with a draw. But tonight, he says, this is it, I'm, I'm not injured. I am ready, focused, I'm coming in heavier, stronger and meaner for this fight. Yeah, definitely a lot of hype behind this man. Shemrock has an incredible story, has been through a lot to bring himself here. A lot resting on his shoulders, but you're right, bro. He needs to put on a performance here. He needs to show why. And, and I feel like he's coming in with the right mentality. Seeing him around the hotel, you can sense there's something different about him. He even physically looks a little bit more impressive than last time out as well. Very, very focused. And coming out to this music, you can tell he feels like there's a target on his back with the hype that he's bringing, and he needs to prove why he deserves it. And listen, this is a great matchup. He's got faith in his striking, but Malak's kryptonite is the ground game. We've seen it against Nardash. We've seen it against Mateus Kohu. And we know, if you're talking about elite grapplers in mixed martial arts, you're staring at one right there. And we need him to establish that. But he also wants to show his striking. He said, I'm a mixed martial artist. He said, I, I think I can strike with anyone. I can knock anybody out. It's going to be so interesting to see how this one plays out between these two lightweights. Get ready for the welcome for this man. Jan, King of the North, Malak. Now he's a guy me and you know particularly well. We know we know his mind for fighting by commentating side by side with him through some of the Octagon events. 31 years of age from Liberec, and he showed why he's the King of the North in that fight at Octagon 41 when he took on Ebrahim Hosenpour, finished him in under three minutes, and he's been working hard on the hole in his game. He recognizes it in the grappling. He's gone to Bruno to work with the likes of Yaku Donald, some of the big grapplers they've got down in that city. So he's put in the work, the horrible work, the work where he doesn't shine, and he is ready tonight. He said, I'm gonna stuff the takedowns, and then quite simply, he said, uh, Shem's predicted the knockout. He said, but I'm the knockout artist in this fight, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it when I touch him with these fists. And feel that way as well. Very different body types, these two. And if you were gonna say anyone who possesses the power to get a knockout, it would be Jan Malek. And like you said, King of the North, showing that a few times in Liberec, always shines in his home but now needs to shine in front of in front of this audience and under the lights of the San Jose. And it's, he's, you know, like you said, we know him personally, he works with us in the commentary as well for the UK, and he's a very, very intelligent man. You know, it looks at fighting very intelligent, he knows everything about it, but has to put it together like he did against Hosen Paul here against Shemrock. Shemrock is the talent in the Octagon cage tonight, like on the ground especially, possesses those that skill set, is awkward, different body type, hard to deal with. So Jan Malik needs to come in here, tough like a rock with that mentality that he has, and really put on one hell of a performance to take home victory. Yeah, you look at Malak's credentials as well. In MMA, 10 of his 15 wins are by finish, nine knockouts, one submission. You look at his boxing record as well. He's had over 80 boxing and kickboxing fights, and he has never been KO'd. He said, I've been rocked. He said, I'll say that, but I spar with middleweights. I spar with light heavyweights. And no one has put me down, so Shem thinks I can, he can do that, do that. And we will wait, we will see. 
Might be a little bit of silent psychological warfare. I feel like Shamrock's going to look for a takedown and uh, take the back. Let's we'll see. see. Let's see. Here let's we see, see Taylor on the yeah. tape. 31 versus 29. Height and reach on the side of Shamrock. Experience on the side of Mallet, but the tip sport odds favour. Liverpool's own Shamrock. Let's get this one underway. Let's hand it to Andre. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next contest, which is the lightweight bout scheduled for three five minute rounds. And the referee in charge is Gert Richter. Let me introduce you both fighters, and we will start in a blue corner. He's 29 years old, stands 183 centimeter tall, weight in 70.8 kilo. He represents next generation, and the coaches in his corner are Paul Rimmer, Elias Thompson, and Michael Patrick. He has a professional record of 10 fights, 8 wins, 7 finishes, 1 draw, and only 1 loss. Fighting out of United Kingdom, Shakim Shem Rock. In the red corner, he's 31 years old, 180 centimeter tall, 70.8 kilos. He represents Reinders MMA team, and the coaches in his corner are Andre Reinders. He has a professional record of 28 fights. 15 wins, 9 KO, and 13 losses. Fighting out of Czech Republic, the King of North, Jan Mala. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Protect yourself at all times and listen to my commands when I say stop, you stop. Fight hard, fight fair. Please touch your gloves and step back in your corner. Gerd Richter, the third man inside the cage for this lightweight contest. Liverpool's own Shem Rock fighting out of the blue corner. Green and white shorts taking on Yang, the, Yang, the king of the north, Malak. Black shorts, red corner. A match of style, Southpaw versus Orthodox. Will Shem look for that takedown? Can Yan unlock that right hand? Yeah, coming out in that Southpaw stance, stance of Shemrock, feel like the legs here. Has a much longer reach with the legs and brings them up very beautifully as you see that team come through the middle. I'll see you, I think he'll start switching that up to the head kick. That left side head kick. You know, Rian Malik's right hand is very low, does carry it low, possesses a lot of power in it. There he comes up to the head. It was interesting there, Shem just fainted a couple of takedowns again and he's getting bites from Malak because Malak doesn't want this on the ground. He knows probably that's where Shem wants to take it. But getting those bites could open up the strikes, right? Yeah, and I, I honestly feel like he's searching for that left head kick. Jan again carrying that right hand very, very low. So if he can bring that left, nice, it's nice to kick there. If he can bring that left leg through the middle, through the middle, through the middle and then come up high, that's, that's definitely what I feel like he's trying to do. Great pressure here, though, from Jan. Oh, that's it. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, he's home. Shamrock looking to finish Jan Malak. He hurt him to the body. Now he's chasing the head. Oh, he's opened up the back, though, now. This is where Shamrock shines. And gets to the back, instantly takes it. Looking Only has one really hook. Kids. There we go, but this is where he works for me. He needs to free that hand. What a turn. It was the shot to the midsection, Luke. It was that little teep. Little teep to the liver. They are painful. Might have been the bladder, might have been the liver. But here has got great control, has great grasp over that left hip. Only having the one hook in, but wrapping it around and bringing it tight. Now looking to get that, that arm under the neck. Even with it just the one hand, he's tightening that up with it under his chin. Yeah, does well to get that right hand over the shoulder, controlling it, and his chin position is fantastic. And this could be a single arm. Oh, Green A could show victory. This very, very tight. Now he's got Switches it. out. Shimmer. This is going to be all in. Looking for the, the tap, looking to get the finish here in the Spanish. So Jan Malek survives palm to palm. Again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Malik fighting back there he has. That's it, but Shemrock, Shemrock gets with the, the tap. first round finish. There we go. He said he was going to do it. He said, I'll take his back, I'll choke him out. It's one thing saying it, it's the next thing doing it, right? Yeah, and the way he did it too, was side on the feet, landing that shot to the body with that left stabbing team through the middle. And then after that landed, followed up beautifully, exploded on him, got to the back super fast, and then calm and collect to get that rear naked choke victory. Oh, look at him enjoying the spoils of war, looking for his next opponent. Oh my goodness. 
And against Jan Malak, look, and let's be honest, he hurt him with the striking. Nobody predicted that. Everyone thought Jan would dictate the striking, but it was the, the work to the body that opened up the back take that eventually gave him that rear naked choke loop. Yeah, the striking opened up everything, but he dived on him. We'll see here with the uh, highlights how that team down the middle damaged him. See where it lands. Yeah, yeah right. right in there, on the toes up, right into that midsection. Yeah, big, big shots here as well. Came instantly, smelled blood, and went with a lot of power, but then intelligently shut to the back and then got the back very quickly. Beautiful slam. I thought he was going to go for a Demetrius Johnson armbar at one point, <laughs> but then he switched it up, took the back, and was patient here, waiting for his moment. Got it, and Jan defended and very, well. very well. Survived well. First time he got the hand off the top, then it went palm to palm. And then he re-locked it up, and look how deep that is yeah. under the chin, and he twists it. Beautiful. Yeah, very, very tight finish there. And it's the high reel there. First round finish, very fast, very quick. See there, no punches landed, a lot of kicks landed, but not a single strike landed on the feet as we get a submission victory in that first round. And Shem as well, a big character, as we hand it over to Andre Navani to make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, we know who's the winner after two minutes and eight seconds in the very first round. The winner by submission, rear naked shows coming from the blue corner, Shakim Shem Rock. Liverpool, not Great Britain. Scouts, not English. Shemrock representing Liverpool and by way of Ireland. There we go, I'll take that. The shot to the midsection, though, that is what opened up the back take and the rear naked choke. Were you working on that, looking to expose that bodywork? King of the North, you're looking at him. 0151, Liverpool, stand up. Hey, Colin Mahone in the corner. I've never lost a fight with Colin Mahone in the corner. Hey! Next Generation, Team Mother Jiu-Jitsu, DCA, you! Listen, you predicted the first round finish against the super tough opponent, Inyan Malak. Everybody's been saying your name. You know, what's it like to answer them with a performance like that? Can they see you now, Shemrock? Listen, everyone's been slagging me online. They've got nothing to say now. I'm coming for everyone. I'm fucking starting fights backstage because motherfuckers won't sign the contract, but they want to say me name. Listen, there's a certain police officer out there who won't keep my name out of his mouth. Pocorny, sign the contract or shut the fuck up. <laughs> there we go, listen, what a performance. One more, go on. I went through so many different names. No one will accept the fight against me. But see this man right here? He accepted straight away. He didn't sit with the contract for a week or two. He showed up. See this man right here? I've got respect for him. He put it all on the line and he was fucking swinging leather. So shout out to him. Everyone in this crowd now, give your homeboy a round of applause because he showed up. Listen, Shemrock. Big respect, what a performance, cannot wait to see what is next. Let's go, Liverpool's Chef Rock! <laughs> a new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester. Where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. 
you will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shamrock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous... This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it! Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.